Baron is playing his Zeriko deck, keeping a hand with Slither Blade, Tetsuko Umazawa's Fugitive, Miss Blade Shinobi, Ninja of the Deep Hours, Azura Smoke Shaper, Treasure Cruise, and an Island. Albert's playing his Feather the Redeemed deck, keeping a hand of Ikorian Crusader, Titan Strength, Sun Forger, Boros Garrison, Terramorphic Expanse, and two Mountains. Andy is playing his Mono White Mangar the Diplomat deck, keeping a hand with Soul Warden, Platinum Angel, Path to Exile, Worn Power Stone, and three Planes. I'm playing my Dragonlord Ojitai deck, keeping a hand of Mist Metal Witch, Reflector Mage, Return to Dust, Grasp of Faith, Blade of Selves, Temple of the False God, and an Island. Baron starts us off by playing an island into Slither Blade and passing the turn to Albert. Albert draws, plays a mountain into a Crow and Crusader, passing the turn to Andy. Andy draws and also has a turn one play, playing a Plains into a Soul Warden, then passing the turn to me. I draw, I play an island, and I pass the turn to Baron. Baron untaps, draws, and plays a Dark Water Catacomb as land for a turn. He then goes to combat and swings Slither Blade at Andy. Before damage, he Commander Ninjutsu's in Yuriko. Soul Warden gains Andy one life because Yuriko entered the battlefield. Yuriko triggers and Baron reveals an island off the top of his library, dealing no damage. He then discards a card and passes the turn to Albert. Albert untaps, draws, and immediately goes to combat, attacking Baron with his Crusader. During his second main phase, he plays a Boros Garrison, returning his mountain to his hand. With nothing else to do, he passes the turn to Andy. Andy untaps, draws, plays a Plains, and then passes the turn to me. I draw and have to play a very sad Temple of the False God as my second land. I pass the turn to Baron. Baron untaps, draws, plays a Swamp, taps two lands for Tetsuko Umazawa's Fugitive, goes to combat and attacks Andy with Yuriko. Yuriko triggers and Baron reveals an island. Then on his second main phase, taps one to replay his Slither Blade. Albert untaps, draws, plays a Terramorphic Expanse for his land, cracks it and searches for basic planes. Then, with nothing else, passes the turn. Andy draws, plays the planes, and taps everything for a worn power stone. Then passes. I draw a card, can't play a land, and therefore have to go to my end step, discarding a card. Baron untaps, draws, plays an island, goes to combat, and attacks Andy with three creatures. Before damage, he ninjutsu in Ninja of the Deep Hours and Mist Blade Shinobi. Andy then takes two damage. The Mist Blade triggers and returns the Soul Warden back to Andy's hand. Then he triggers the Yuriko, revealing Bella the Nightclad, Fairy Seer, Sakashima the Imposter, dealing 11 damage to everybody. Then he triggers the Ninja of the Deep Hours and draws a card. During his second main phase, he taps one. To replay his Slither Blade. Baron discards two cards and then passes his turn. Albert untaps, draws, taps three mana to play Feather the Redeemed, drops a mountain, taps it to play Titan Strength, targeting the Crusader, triggering it and making a 1 1 soldier. He then goes to combat and attacks Baron with four damage. Before passing, he then returns the Titan Strength to his hand. And he untaps, draws, plays the planes, and replays his soul warden, and passes the turn. I draw, play a planes, and tap two lands to play Blade of Selves. I then pass the turn. Baron untaps, draws, plays an island, taps four mana for Sakashima the Imposter, entering as a copy of Yuriko. He goes to combat and swings everything at me. Andy path to exiles the OG Yuriko and Baron searches for a swamp. I then lose 3 life. The Sakashima Yuriko reveals dark water catacombs and a swamp, dealing no damage. Baron then passes the turn. Albert untaps, draws, plays a mountain, taps 1 for crash through makes a soldier, draws a card, 
He then goes to combat, attacking Baron. Before damage, he plays Titan Strength, Built to Smash, and Arrestor Zeal, dealing 13 damage to Baron. At the end of his turn, he returns those three cards to his hand. And he untaps, draws, and taps everything for a Linvala the Preserver, gaining him 5 life and creating a 3-3 Angel token. He then gains 2 life and passes. I untap, draw, tap 2 mana for Miss Metal Witch, and pass the turn. Baron untaps, draws, plays a Dark Water Catacombs, taps 2 for Tetsuko Umazawa's Fugitive, goes to combat and attacks Albert. Albert blocks one of his attackers. Before damage, he commander ninjutsus in Yuriko. Yuriko triggers and reveals a prickly bogart, Okiba gang shinobi, wound reflection, swamp, ingenious infiltrator, and spectral sailor, dealing 7 damage to everyone. During his second main phase, he curtains calls two of Albert's creatures, destroying them. Baron then discards to hand size and passes the turn. Albert untaps, draws, plays a mountain, taps one for Cratch Through, drawing him a card. He then taps one for Titan Strength on his token, two for Run Amuck, one for Arrestor Zeal, and then one for Built to Smash. Goes to combat and attacks Baron. Baron takes 12 damage and Albert passes the turn. And he untaps, draws, plays a Mirror of the Sky Ruin for his land, and taps everything for Angelic Skirmisher, gaining him one life. He goes to combat, giving all his creatures lifelink. He attacks Baron with two creatures, dealing eight damage, bringing him down to two life. I untap, draw, play a planes for turn, tap three mana for Reflector Maid, returning Baron Sakashima to his hand. Then pass the turn. Baron untaps, draws, plays a swamp, goes immediately to combat and attacks Andy with three creatures and Albert with one. Before damage, he ninjutsus in Ingenious Infiltrator. Albert takes two damage and Andy takes four. He returns Andy's token to his hand. He reveals Sunken Ruin, Demir Locket, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Archetype of Imagination off his Yuriko trigger and deals 11 damage to everyone, making me and Albert both lose. Then he draws a card. On his second main phase, he plays Wound Reflection, dealing 14 more damage to Andy, winning him the game. I hope you enjoyed that commander game. Baron's Yuriko deck dealt a lot of damage, and if he was able to stack the top of his deck, it probably would have been a way shorter game. Having Sakashima enter the battlefield as a copy of Yuriko sped up the game a lot. Albert's Feather deck had two great turns and did exactly what he wanted to do. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get him the win. Andy brought his newly built Mangara deck. Although he gained quite a bit of life and interrupted Baron, it wasn't enough to stop him. Unfortunately, my Ojitai deck didn't do much this game. It looked like a good hand to keep, but in hindsight, never keep a one land hand ever. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for new content every Tuesday, and watch us on Twitch this Friday at 7pm for some Kyle time fun. And follow us on our socials. Have a great rest of the week.